Well, unfortunately, sometimes when I have to blow snow, this is what I have to deal with. Darkness. So you should buy an Aaron snowblower with a light on it. Okay. That light doesn't even shine past the freaking back wheels for heaven's sakes. So I decided to put a real light on there. A big LED spotlight. Unfortunately, LED is DC. And the generator for that halogen bulb that I showed you up there, yeah, that little crappy one, is AC. And in case you didn't know, AC is different from DC. Even though AC-DC is a good rock band. So, in order to make it work, <clears throat> I put this little black box here, and now the light works. <laughs> well, sorta. I actually left the lame original light connected to the generator that's coming out of here. But black on black, you'll be lucky to see it. Let's see if I can zoom in there. So this is the OEM wiring to the lame light up top that I'm complaining about. This is the generator wire coming out of the engine, so that's AC. And typically, this wire is connected to this wire, and that's the end of the story. So I unplugged them and rigged it up such that uh, both lights work, but I should have to show you what I did in, in order to uh, make that happen. So it's still mid-November right now. I'm actually making preparations for the uh, snow blower for winter. Put away my lawn mower. Took out the snow blower. I'm going through it. Uh, I store it with no fuel and I take uh, the... Uh, is there a drain? I can't even remember. Yep. There's a drain on the carburetor so I just drain all the fuel out of it so there's there's no gas in it I'll have to start it up but for the video you know if I show it running uh, that will be instantaneous and I said if I show it running <laughs> but I'll fire it up and get it going make sure everything's working I just need a real cold morning uh, this morning's pretty good uh, but uh, I'm not I'm not prepared yet, so I need to uh, continue on. So I'm going to show you what I did here, and let me get out my book. My degree is in mechanical engineering, and it's mechanical engineering systems. What's that mean? What that means is I'm a systems engineer. I'm not a design engineer. My degree is actually not mechanical engineering, it's engineering technology. So anyway, getting on with it, I get my book out here and I write down in it from, you can see clearly I make mistakes. <laughs> but this is what I did, I needed a rectifier and the positive side and the negative side of the rectifier. I needed a capacitor. That helps with the flashing. Uh, it doesn't take it away, and I'm sure the camera will see it. Your eyes will not see it, but the camera will see it. Now, I'll show you that when I fire it up. So then I figured out all my wiring. I got a red female three to LED three is I marked the, the connectors so that I could see a three match three with three and you know made it tried to make it idiot proof because like I said I'm not a electrical engineer I'm an idiot when it comes to electrons so anyway let's get back to the negative side over here I have two black lines, uh, male two, female one. Uh, what that is is the original 
plugs. So I have the two original plugs coming together. Uh, one is from the generator and one is from the halogen light. Or actually this is coming out going to, I apologize. Like I said, idiot savant when it comes to electrical. Uh, down here I have a black negative and that is going to the LED. So I have red going to LED over here and black LED here. Then on the opposite corner, see there are opposite corners for the original light and opposite corners for the LED light. So here I have the uh, red female connector one going to the halogen light and the red male connector mark two going to the generator. So here's my little picture and uh, should I say schematic and what I'm doing is I'm taking the input AC from the generator which is a sine wave and I'm trying to make it a full wave rectification so the next part is I make it a rectification you see it's not going negative but it's still pulsing you know it's flashing so then I put the capacitor in there and hopefully I'll make it ripple so it does go on and off technically but it doesn't go all the way to zero so the flash is not as intense in other words it doesn't go on off it kinda goes bright and dim bright and dim if you will so anyway that's what I did and I'll show you all the wiring and everything and how I physically hooked it up here now I thought about routing the cord behind the dipstick tube but I may have to have access to the belt, so I thought it'd be easier to take off. So anyway, that's what I did. So let me take the cover off. Let me measure it first, tell you what the cover is. All right, it is a two, so it's a four by four by two box is what I put on there. And I actually needed it that big. I could have done a little better with the wiring, but hey, <laughs> Still making excuses. I'm mechanical, not electrical. I'll get this cover off and I'll show you what I got. I thought over time I would neaten it up a little bit and make it more secure. Uh, but right now it's loose, which actually makes it easier for the video. So what have I got in here? I got a mess. That's what I've got. All right, here's my rectifier. I marked it up like in my uh, BB-8 notebook. <clears throat> plus plus minus minus and on the edge that's cut off here at an angle you know I have the wiring for the positive wiring three and the rectifier which is the red female lead going to the LED. And jumping the capacitor over to the two reds, which are the generator and the halogen light. So as this thing goes around from the generator and goes around in one direction, because that's what a rectifier is, uh, that'll help me achieve a full wave rectification. So, here's my big mess. I still have my one, two, three tapes on the lines. My connectors, I have everything coming underneath here. I don't have a grommet in there yet. I just wanted to see, make sure everything works before I went through the trouble of putting a grommet in there and try and sealing it up. I really don't see water as being an issue but uh, let me show you the box let me take the box off so 
So you see my bolt coming through. That's the OEM bolt that holds on the oil dipstick holder here. So I'm just kind of using that, except uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's not just flat. It actually has a a chalk here molded into the plastic and that helps reinforce it. Also has a metal insert. Is this metal? Or is it plastic? No, that's a metal insert in plastic. So that's as they see is that. And there's the generator coming out. Do I want to reroute that? I may want to neaten this up a little bit. Let me look that over. Yeah, since I took it off, I'm going to neaten it up a little bit. Not inside the box. I just need to cut those wires shorter. Uh, but I'll do that at a later date or never. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Uh, let me get this thing back together now that I've shown you how I put it. It's mainly everything's built around the rectifier. So that's how it is in the drawing. Capacitor, what do I have? 2200 microfarad, 16 volt. Yeah, that's, capac that's capacitor I'm using. All right, let's get this guy all together here. Gooten tight here. I don't want to go. I don't want to over torque it. That's an eight. That's good enough for me. Next, we'll get to stuff all of this back in here. I did want to put the rectifier on the back, but I didn't know about gluing it on there. I didn't know how much heat is going to be generated. I know I'm out in the cold, but still, you know, I like to err on the side of caution. So let me fit this back in there. So hopefully I'm zoomed in here. It's all behind the cover. Uh, the cover actually goes out. It's not flat, but still I have all my connectors down below. My rectif rectifier up high with my capacitor and then all the wiring stuffed over top of my connector. So that's how I did it. And then see this is recessed and it has a little seal on it too. Which I was surprised when I got it. When I bought it I did not realize it was potentially waterproof. Of course, I've drilled a few holes in it now, so that's always fun. Four for the screws. That one's not aligned. get my lost boy here that fell on the floor tried to run away and escape all right and there we go so there is my junction box all put back together uh, this uh, belt cover may or may not come off of there. I may have enough room to pull it forward and get it out. We'll see. Who knows? Uh, if not, it's no big deal to uh, remove this. I can even leave all the wires connected. Just take the screw out and uh, move it aside and that'll allow me to uh, access the belts and break it apart, replace the belts, which hopefully are far, far, far in the future for me. All right, next is when I get this thing all ready, filled up with fuel and fire it up, I'll film the lights and wrap this video up. 
Okay, the day is dawning. I can see the LED light. Uh, I can. I think I'll turn the. Uh, uh, I'm kind of zoomed out here. I'll turn the discharge chute so you can see the light on top. Get it started and run. Show you the uh, lights on. All right. Well, this is why I don't do flashlight videos. I mean, this camera is unbelievable. So anyway, let me change the angle. Okay, so there's the angle. You can see the uh, yellow light. The it's the Calvin is different for the halogen than the LED. So we have the LED uh, looks whiter and the halogen looks yellower, and you know that has to do with other things besides filament and electronic circuitry. So right now I do not see any flashing with my eye, but I don't know if the camera is recording any flashing, so we'll have to see in editing. So again, here's the headlight now <laughs> instead of the really dim whatever light. Here, let me cover up the LED and see if we can see the halogen. Well, the sun is coming up, but, you know, the halogen is not putting a beam on the ground. Uh, it's just kind of lighting up the snowblower. Let me take the towel off of the LEDs again. Okay, well, there's the difference. Huge difference. If you need to get out at 4 o'clock in the morning and snow blow, I wouldn't trust that silly little halogen that came with the snowblower. I'd put an LED on it. Thank you for watching.